Hi everybody and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to draw a nice southern France city. And I did a little bit of sketching on a very cheap scribbling paper. And it's a city wall. It's an arched city wall with some pot plants. And maybe you can draw in some chickens in the front or uh, some cats or a dog or something. You can do whatever you want of course. And this is a ballpoint drawing I did, second study. And what you see here is the disappearing point way in the back. And that's your little helper point for some helping lines. We have the horizon, of course, as you can see here. And the buildings on the left are away in the shadow. And what I want to do in this tutorial is to draw in the sun. Now here you can see the lines for the houses. It's a big bit arched. They go about. But you still need those little helper lines to get your perspective about right. And on the right side there are some houses too. But you cannot see them of course because of that big arch there. And this is the line for the little wall that is on the left side. Now for the city arch itself, it goes uh, across our perspective drawing. So you can see here the line for the roof and the line for the foot of the wall. And so this is the part that I'm interested in and it goes across our perspective drawing now that's that city arch that is way in the sun and what i did is i have drawn in with a stettler fine liner that same drawing on a cheap brownish uh, sketching paper and the fun part of that uh, sketching paper is that uh, when it's brownish you can go ahead with your pastel pencils and start drawing in the light that is there now the complete setup of the drawing of this southern france city can be found on my patreon page and that is a real-time recording also for the coloring in it's all in real time so should you want to watch that and maybe visit my th patreon page then and you can al also support me in making these awesome tutorials now I'm continuing here with drawing in an underlayment of a white parcel so I'm drawing in each and every stone on that city wall and I draw around the bougainville that is growing on top of that city wall. Now I also put a uh, underlayment of white on the tiles of the roof of that wall and that way I draw in everything that is in the sun so I only put in the white on those parts that are uh, well got hit by the sun and I also put in an underlayment on the bougainville itself so that's a very first uh, important thing now here are some pot plants and they catch only a little bit of sun only on the top of the leaves and here way in the back I draw in some white too because uh, as we go towards the horizon the sky will get lighter and lighter and, um, well I really put a rather thick layer on that city wall itself and also a little bit of the sky you can just see a little bit of sky in this drawing here on top and I also put some white into the chicken it's a chicken and a rooster that I've put in the front 
and that is just to make it a bit more a lively drawing and more fun for your viewers to watch your drawing and now I've changed to the black charcoal and the black charcoal I use to start drawing in the shadow parts now here on the left there is a, a stroke of shadow that is made by the little wall on the left and also the pot plants itself they cast a shadow uh, onto the street itself and also the porch and the chickens are making shadow on the street itself now the sunnier the day is the sharper the shadows will be so you can see me while I will continue drawing that these shadow lines are very very important indeed the sharper you make them the more sunnier your drawing will become now here I'm putting in the shadow just underneath the tiles on that roof and also for the underneath of uh, of that roof and that roof also is casting a shadow onto the city wall itself I blur everything a little bit in with a finger and now I then I just take a look and just uh, watch what where my shadows will be here is a little lantern that is on that city wall itself so that catches a little bit of shadow too and here is that left uh, lower wall so I draw in around that uh, succulent plant and you can see that that plant instantly comes forward a little bit more and these are the buildings that are on the left and they are covered completely in the shadow you will see that I will ignore the buildings in the left in this drawing because for those shadows shadow parts I do not want to get in any color at all now here I've changed to a light yellow and I'm starting to go over the white parts that I've drawn in the tiles on the roof itself I will make a, a little bit tempered red so I put in a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow I don't want it to be all that red because the bougainville has to pop out here and for the bougainville itself I use a very bright pink some of the flowers will pop in front some more and I make them somewhat uh, darker pink and I put in a little bit of green just in between the flowers here on the right I've also put a pot plant and for the rooster on the front I use a little bit of dark blue and for that pot plant on the left a little bit of green and also for the grass on the right side now here way in the back I use a very light gray for the sky itself and also a little bit on uh, the big bricks on that wall and the front of this porch catches a lot of light also the bougainville so I also put in a little bit of light yellow to make it a little bit more lively and here you can see the trunks of that bougainville and that should really pop out I will get to that later I also put a little bit of extra light on the tiles 
and for the sky itself and because it is a very very sunny day indeed I first use a light blue and I draw that around uh, the top of that city wall and the Bougainville of course and I also put in a little bit of yellow to break the blue a little bit and then it's time to go in darker for those sharp shadows and the sunnier the day is the darker and the sharper the shadows will be so here I'm drawing in those sharp lines for the tiles on that roof that really really catch a lot of sunlight that should make it pop out so I'm using that black charcoal again to draw in those very very deep dark shadows I also use it for the shadows that are casted on the wall by the the branches of the uh, bougainville and underneath the chickens of course they catch a lot of shadow too and here for the wall itself that is casting the shadow on the street I also go in darker I always build up uh, the black very slowly and as I'm going I can see how much to put in now here in the arch itself I put in some more darkness too but not too much because the street itself reflects the light into that arch now here's some more dark shadows on the stems of that bougainville and then here for the far distance some light and this is uh, this should be really really light because that catches a lot of sun too and in that way it really pops to the front so that's a nice effect some shadows here and I'm making that sky extra blue because it's a really bright day now of course you can uh, put in a lot of extra details if you want but this is a very very nice setup and you can see that disappearing point in that arch and in that way drawing the attention towards your disappearing point now to not have that street all white 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 I put in a little bit of light yellow on the street itself Here a little bit for the distance and you can see how blurry that distance is uh, maybe put in a little bit of red for the attention and then I'm using my dark blue pastel pencil to put in a little bit of texture in the street itself dark blue is a very nice shadow color too so I put it in there here and there for some extra shadows now then finally I put in extra light on the sunlight that hits that city wall and well there's not much more here I put in some twigs for some trees maybe on the back and it's just nice isn't it to uh, draw with the ink pen and combining it with the pastel well I hope you enjoyed this video find some help with these tips uh, don't forget to subscribe and also maybe you can visit my patreon page for more tips prints and well I will see you again next Friday see you then